Ashmore Reef has a remarkable biodiversity. It's one of the most important sites for tropical breeding seabirds in the region. It's a, a tiny group of islands just south of Indonesia. It's an Australian territory. There's over 100,000 breeding seabirds there. It's also a really special site for breeding sea turtles. So there's hawksbill turtles and green turtles in significant numbers there. But it also has some major problems, particularly the presence of tropical fire ants. These ants are, are killing the hatchlings of the turtles just as they emerge from the nest and also killing the chicks and the, the eggs that are just hatching of some of these special seabirds that occur there. So for the seabirds, sometimes we've seen the eggs that are just hatching, so they've got this tiny little hole in them, the chick's just about to emerge, it's, it's just pipping through. And even at that really early stage when there's this tiny hole, already there's tropical fire ants streaming into that hole and attacking the, the chick before it's even hatched. And in those instances, ultimately that chick is killed before it even emerges from the egg. And we've also had tiny chicks in their first day or two of life, the little fluffy ones that are just out of the egg. The, the tropical fire ants swarm over those chicks and kill those chicks before they can sort of grow large enough to avoid the ant at any stage. And so obviously the nest is lost and the breeding for that pair of seabirds is, is ended for that year because they don't re-nest. Uh, and I think for the future, removing tropical fire ants and improving the biosecurity for this region uh, so that we don't get other tramp ant and other invasive species at these sites uh, would be a, a really important step forward. We've baited these ants on one particular island and we've been able to suppress them to the level that we can't detect them for over six months. So we're quite confident that if we were to shift to an eradication program at a full scale across this island, we would achieve a success and remove these problem ants from this remarkable system. If the ants were eradicated at Ashmore Reef, uh, there's a number of seabird species that are at quite low numbers at the moment. So some of these seabirds, like red-tailed tropic birds and white-tailed tropic birds, the number of pairs that breed on these islands is really in the tens of pairs, and we would expect the populations to uh, climb fairly rapidly. It really has the potential to see them grow to much more significant colonies and, and sort of you know, re-establish in the region like they would have once been.